La décision partagée, c'est un processus. C'est un processus dans lequel un clinicien et une clinicienne collaborent avec le patient, la patiente, à faire des choix éclairés en santé, donc des choix qui reposent sur les meilleures données probantes disponibles, ainsi que ce qui est important pour le patient ou la patiente, ses valeurs et ses préférences. Il faut aussi noter que ce processus pourrait aussi avoir cours si ce sont des équipes interprofessionnelles qui sont euh, impliquées et des membres de la famille avec le patient ou la patiente. Dans le suivi prénatal, c'est important de considérer d'intégrer la prise de décision partagée puisque c'est un choix. C'est un choix qui doit être éclairé. On peut s'abstenir de faire le test ou au contraire, on peut décider de faire le test. Et on sait aussi que maintenant, il y a plusieurs, parfois, différentes options pour euh, ce fameux test de dépistage-là. Donc, cette décision-là est une décision qui n'est pas toujours simple. Elles doivent euh, donc vraiment euh, s'engager dans le dépistage en comprenant les bons et les mauvais côtés, parce que ce sont des options, les différentes options possibles, et de faire le choix qui est vraiment le plus en lien avec ce qui est important pour eux. Mrs. Anne McCarthy, 32 years old, arrives with her partner at a family practice unit for her first prenatal visit. She is eight weeks into her first pregnancy. The scene takes place in the consulting room where the doctor has just finished examining her. The doctor takes notes in the patient's medical file and asks the patient and her partner to come and sit down facing her. Now that you've had your first examination, which is to get a sense of your general state of health, I'd like to give you some information on pregnancy and, of course, answer any questions you might have. Okay. In the first weeks of pregnancy, there's a decision you'll have to make. It's about whether to take some tests that tell us about the baby's risk of having genetic problems, such as Down syndrome or trisomy 21. Do you know what Down syndrome is? So you need to decide whether to take a test or not. And if so, which one? Some women of your age, in their early 30s, choose to do the test and others choose not to. It depends on what's most important to you. My job is to present the options, and then you can make the decision you're most comfortable with. Do we have to make a decision right now? No, don't worry. Here's a decision aid which tells you what the options are what can happen after the prenatal screening test, and what are the benefits and harms of doing and not doing the test. So you can decide whether to do the test or not. And if you decide to do it, which one to do? I'll explain what's in the decision aid, and if you have questions, just stop me. Sure, thanks. First of all, this prenatal screening test is so that we can see the risk of the fetus having Down syndrome. It's just a screening test. So it only detects the probability. It's not a diagnosis. If the test says the risk is high, we might suggest you have an amniocentesis. What you should remember is that you must make your decision based on what is most important to you. What is most important to you? What are your thoughts? It makes me think. I'm pretty sure I could live without knowing all that about the baby, but I think my partner would be reassured if we had a blood test that showed us our baby was not likely to have Down syndrome. Right. And how do you feel about it? Well, the idea of having a Down syndrome child kind of worries me. But I have trouble with the idea of an abortion, and I don't like the idea of losing the baby because of an amniocentesis. But we're both involved in this. If it's reassuring, I think it's worth it. I'd feel better if we had more time to think about it. Okay, so between now and your next appointment in four weeks, talk about it some more together. You can also talk to your friends and relatives. Think about the options and which one best matches what's important to you. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.